in this section so far, I've showed you how to apply that uh, code for the Mogambo org. I'm going to show you a couple of alternate patterns for some real with real life examples. The Ansible can be used to deploy various complex environments. In, and in this example, I'm showing you an ex, you know, uh, deployment for Kubernetes uh, and OpenShift. Again, both of those support Ansible scripts. This is Coopspray. This is a tool called as Coopspray, which is nothing but a bunch of Ansible scripts. And you see all of these, you know, uh, there are a bunch of playbooks here, including setup.py, reset.yaml. So all these YAML files are typically playbooks. Cluster.yaml is the main playbook here, which calls for or defines which host it applies to and which playbooks or which roles it's going to call you'll in the in the roles directory you will find a bunch of roles available as well and in the documentation you see the exact similar configuration or uh, you know the procedure that we used ansible playbook uh, we define the inventory as part of ansible.com but in this case inventory is being invoked manually and this is where the inventory comes from you can also create your own class inventory for your own cluster and if you look inside the inventory it is has it follows the same convention the ini style configuration which has a blocks of host or groups and the list of servers to connect to you can also add the connection details and connection information in those variables here you have um, i have environment specific inventory in this example the inventory has a subdirectory and along with this inventory you'll also see the group vars so you can also define the group vars this way so anything which is part for, for that particular inventory for those hosts uh, the group variables are defined right here so there are a couple of patterns that you could use with ansible the one i used is slightly different than the one you see here and if you look at the group variables you have this is where you can define and influence the versions of kubernetes or any other properties related to kubernetes so that's inventory and inventory variables and this is where you'll find all the roles that you could impossibly invoke to configure something related to Kubernetes. And in addition to that, you have playbooks, which are in the top level directory right here. This is just one pattern. There's another pattern that we're gonna look at, which is for OpenShift. So if you just search for OpenShift and Ansible code, you'll get to this repository. And if you look at this repository, they have configured it in a different way. The playbooks go as this is the documentation to install Ansible and the prerequisite. And uh, the playbooks are part of another subdirectory. The inventory is part of inventory directory. So you'll find inventory and they're in the inventory using minus i and again if you go to the inventory directory you will find the similar kind of files and this is an example or a sample repository again it's quite similar to what we have used what i've showed you earlier and this is where this is what you will have to edit and this is where you'll have to add your host information and the connection information this is the inventory file and uh, in addition to that you'll find a bunch of playbooks. In this case, playbooks are con categorized into different directories because there are probably possibly a lot of different playbooks for different situations where you want to install OpenShift or in, right? So you can invoke specific playbooks or you can invoke the playbooks uh, in this directory, um, which uh, there's one for pre-configuration and there's another for deploying the OpenShift cluster or you can you know go into any of this directory and look at the yaml files each of that are playbooks right and this is an example this is a documentation and you can go and look at the playbook for prerequisite which is part of the playbooks directory instead of going inside any of the subdirectories as part of playbooks you can look at the playbook scroll down and you'll find a few yaml files which are the playbooks which are the top level playbooks which are being invoked these are for deploying the cluster and so on and these can invoke other playbooks which are relevant for a particular environment or particular application so the prerequisite and the deployment playbooks are the two important ones that you would see here. So there are a couple of patterns that we looked at to store and uh, organize the Ansible code and accordingly you can invoke the commands with Ansible.